guys and welcome back to my channel the Appalachian home and welcome if you're new if you are new here we do lots of DIY projects projects using our Cricut maker I do lots of SVG designs and things like that and I do lots of home decor projects so if that interests you then welcome I hope you enjoy my videos and subscribe if you like these kind of videos so today I am going to be getting started making some fall craft fair items. I know it's a bit early, it's summer, but I gotta get started early to get all of my projects done. And what we're gonna be doing today is some screen printing. Now I've not done screen printing before, so this is kind of new to me, but I did do some screen printing towels and a screen printing kit that I actually got from Amazon. So here is a screen um, that actually came with the kit. You can see I've already used it, and I can tell you it works awesome i really really love screen printing but it did come with a screen and some other materials that i'll show you just in a second if you want to get started screen printing the reason i started screen printing is um i wanted to make some towels for my craft fair i used some iron-ons but i wasn't happy with the iron-ons on this particular type of towel i washed them and i'll show you a clip here um they really shrunk up and looked really ratty and just looked really unprofessional so I wanted to try screen printing because the screen printing ink kind of blends into your fabric and it looks more professional and I really love it. I'll give you a close up here. But these turned out great. What I like so much about the screen printing is you make one stencil, you put it on the back of your screen and you can use it multiple times. So I made multiple towels with one um, screen. I'll show you how I did all that in the next clips. But um if you're thinking about making um, items for your small business or for a craft fair or even an online shop I highly suggest screen printing so we'll go ahead and jump on into the video and I'll show you everything I purchased and where I got it to start screen printing okay so this is the screen print kit that I got from Amazon and I'll show you what all that comes in it so it comes with your squeegee this has like a rubber tip on the end this I believe is the um, 9 or 10 inch squeegee comes with some other tools for screen printing some little ice cream sticks I think this is for placing your paint on your screen and mixing your paint and things like that and it also comes with this weeding tool which I was really happy about this weeding tool because I love weeding tools so it's just like a little dental pick for weeding Oh, it also comes with some vinyl that um, you can use to do your stencil. I was going to use some Oracle stencil material, but I'm just going to use this vinyl. So it comes with um, a few sheets of vinyl. And this is some transfer tape, I believe. So yeah, this is just some clear transfer tape to transfer your vinyl design onto the back of your screen. And then, of course, you have your screen. It's just a really fine um, screen so we'll be putting our design on the back and um, screen printing over our towels and I'm going to be using these um, towels from Amazon these are the cough home towels these are about 20 bucks for um, I believe 10 of these last but not least I'm going to be using this speedball screen printing ink this I got from Amazon as well and this is just in the color black. I'll link all these products down below. So we're gonna use that today too. Okay, so now I'm in design space. I'm gonna go ahead and upload the image that I want to screen print onto my towels. So I'll just go to upload and I've already uploaded this um, into my files. But if you want to drag an image in, you just go to upload and you can browse into your files on your computer, select the SVG or PNG you want to upload and just drag it onto your screen and it will upload. Okay, so I've already measured the front of these towels. I'm just going to draw a shape that is the size of the towel so that I can kind of size this image. So I'm happy with the size. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the towel shape. Since all of this has been welded together, I don't need to attach it to my mat. So I'm going to go ahead to make it. And when you're screen printing, you want to mirror your image because you're going to be placing 
this backwards on the bottom of your screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and mirror my image and I already have my vinyl placed on my mat. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this out. I'm just gonna use the regular vinyl setting on my machine and see how this works. Okay, so now I have the design all cut out. I'm gonna go ahead and weed this out. This is gonna be a reverse weed because this is actually gonna be a stencil. I'm going to weed out all of the letters and leave all the parts in between. and that's completely weeded and actually this vinyl done really good weeding so kind of liking the vinyl we'll see how it does on the stencil in part okay so now I have the transfer tape I'm just gonna pop this on the entire design I'm gonna leave this border um, to kind of keep the paint off the areas I don't want it to get on to If you don't have one of these brayer tools, and a brayer tool is this little roller that I'm using, I highly suggest one. I did not know what I was missing before I got this tool. It completely helps to burnish your material down to your mat or burnish transfer tape onto your material, but it is good for so many things. I love it and I'll link it below. I think I got this one from Amazon. Now that I have the transfer tape placed, I'm just gonna remove the backing from the vinyl. So now I'm just gonna lay my screen on top of this and we'll go ahead and start printing. I didn't measure exactly the center when I was placing this. I just kinda wanted to place my design sorta in the center of the screen. And I'm gonna use some masking tape to go around the edges to seal up the rest of those open edges. Okay, and another thing that came with this kit I took out before to use for something else is this um, masking tape. This does come with the screen printing kit. I'm just going to seal up the rest of my edges with this tape. Okay, here's the towel. If you want to unfold this and press it out, you can, but um, I'm going to leave these fold lines in so that I can see where I want my design to go. Um, so I'm just gonna unfold it and place everything where it needs to go. I'm placing parchment paper beneath my towel because there sometimes may be some bleed through onto your surface that you're screen printing. So the parchment paper just keeps it from leaking through your towel. So if you've made it to this point, you want to remove your transfer tape from your vinyl. I completely forgot to do this on the first round. So I ended up having to make another stencil. So definitely remove your transfer so, tape. So I printed out a new, or cut out a new design on some of the same vinyl. Now I'm going to actually remove my transfer tape from the back before I screen print. So still have the same towel and everything. Um, it's still fine. So we're just gonna go ahead and actually remove this transfer tape. So the transfer tape that comes with the kit is actually very, very sticky and it made it kind of difficult to remove from this intricate design. It removed fine, um, but it did just take a little bit of time. So if you have some low tack transfer tape, it would probably work better with this kind of stencil. Now I'm using the brayer tool to seal up all those edges and really burnish this down to the screen. Another good idea is to tape down your towel to the surface that you're going to have it on. Another thing I'm doing here is just making center marks on my screen so that I can kind of get a reference point um, to make sure my design's centered. And I'm also taping down the screen to the, my, my towel and the surface that I'm working on to keep it from moving. 
So now the first step you want to do is just create a line of ink across the length of your design. You want to make sure that your ink is covering the entire width or length of your design. This is just going to uh, make sure that you get all of your areas screen printed and stenciled. And I'm just making a line probably a quarter inch thick across here. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my squeegee and rub the design this way and then come back again um, a couple times that way. My first try, I really overdid the squeegeeing. You really only do need to do this two or three times to get a really good stencil. And you can take whatever paint that is left on your squeegee and just place it right back in your container. Okay, now I'm just gonna pull straight up. Um, and that turned out so awesome came out really really super clean all the areas are um, filled in and painted so I don't have to do any touch-ups at all um, so and here's my screen the front of my screen and the back of my screen now I can just wash this off um, remove the vinyl and use it again. So like I said, I went ahead and reused the screen over and over multiple times. All I did before I placed it on the next towel, I placed it on a few paper towels and kind of wiped all the excess ink off. And then I placed it directly back on the next towel and I had no bleed throughs. It came out perfectly clean. I'll show you all the towels and they turned out really great. So I love this method. You can just make a bunch of items really quickly. So the last step in screen printing is you want to set your ink into your material and the way I'm doing this is with a heat press but you can definitely do this with an iron. I'm just placing a piece of paper over my design to keep it from transferring to my press and I'm using some Teflon sheets with my heat press. I set my press on 320 degrees for 40 seconds to set in my ink. If you're using a regular iron you just want to iron on the cotton setting or whatever material you are screen printing on for one to two minutes. guys for watching this video I hope you found it helpful and got some great ideas again I'll link everything that I used in this video down below so you can check that out I'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of other videos about getting my products ready for craft fairs and also my online shop that's been closed for a while but I'm still gonna do that Cricut mug press video I've just been putting that off with some other things going on but I am gonna to get to that so thank you guys again for watching I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you back again in my next video